Hold on, hold on, hold on. Phil Heath might be watching. Big Ron, what'd you say, Big Ronnie? Oh. Sean Roddy, Rudy Winkler, Brandon Curry think that they might be let off the hook. Said I wanted to be a champion. No motherfucking I hear you, CT. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Kai Green K to the AK, Mr. Getting It Done. And yeah, you know what? I do some reading too. Quality reading that is. And if you didn't know, now you do. This is one of our earliest eBooks that we put out. What we're gonna do now though, we're gonna go through an arm training segment. And I wanted to take some of the things that we got a chance to talk about a little bit in one of our earlier eBooks. This eBook is devoted to bicep training, but we're gonna do a little bit of triceps too. And today, this training segment is brought to you entirely by Viva Fitness. In fact, this whole thing is gonna be powered by Viva Fitness today, and we're gonna do some really cool stuff. So if you didn't know, now you do. Thanks for joining me. No one is born a hero. It takes the arrogance to believe that you can ascend beyond the realm of man to the heart that makes it so. Perform these two exercise workouts twice weekly during your training and make sure that you perform them with the best of your ability. Um, let's see. Make sure that you have at least three days rest in between. And uh, we want you to do that for optimum growth and recovery and peak performance. I want you to do this one, two, three weeks. And then you'll see that the, the fourth week, we're gonna have something really cool added in there. So the first two weeks are for volume. Uh, volume, strength, and endurance in the last three weeks, maximum mass building. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to just make sure that you get an opportunity to build what you need to build to hopefully, if you got what it takes, develop what is necessary to have the arms that are unworldly. How does that sound? So this is what we're going to do. We're going to start and we're going to call this workout trials and tribulations. This is the workout that we do to make shit happen. Traps, get it, Ron Boy. Let's go, Kai. Let's get some blood in these arms. Y'all ready for this? Moving on. Yep. I'm gonna keep it going. Okay, more like 12. Oh, ah, oh, 12 reps. I like it. I like it a lot. Jesus, I almost feel like they're gonna cramp. Lord have mercy. Ah, oh. now because this exercise segment is actually brought to you by Viva Fitness today, I wanna to throw in another exercise at the same time that allows me to 
warm up my tricep, my elbows. Um, it seems like I got blood in my, my bicep brachialis. <sighs> We're gonna put some blood in these triceps. And that's the opposing muscle group. One, two, three, four. Tricep extension that we're using a rope. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Overhead tricep extensions with the rope. Oh, I know there's a lot of, a lot of people out there that are kind of sore and wide exercise. What's good for them, what's bad for them? How should it be done and how shouldn't it be done? There's a lot of motherfuckers out there that talk too damn much. Everybody's a critic. Everybody knows better. Listen, this is what I want to say. Sometimes you got to put it on. You got to put on the full armor. You got to work. In the process of working, you know what, you'll be constantly learning. You'll be constantly asking yourself questions and you'll find that you'll have to continually come up with answers. And sometimes the answers that you had two years ago may not apply to the immediate moment right now. In this case, what will happen is it'll be up to you to think critically and troubleshoot your way through in an effort to understand some of the new situations and circumstances that you are confronted with and to come up with new answers about how to respond accordingly and still blueprint your success forward. So that said, for all the people that are talking shit, that don't really know, you know, until you've become the success, until you've built the monument of success that stands as a credit to the fact of what you understand and what you don't, sometimes you just gotta put an X in that equation. So for the people that talk and haven't done enough yet, I just wanna encourage you to keep working. I want to encourage you to keep searching because a lot of times the things that you think are the answers when you haven't done the necessary coursework yet, you'll discover you don't have a clue. I'm saying this to all of the people at home that talk without having done enough yet. I'm not trying to put myself on a pedestal, but what I want to do is encourage you to do the work, to keep going. Because um, a lot of times the stuff that you'll talk about when you haven't done the coursework, when you haven't developed the experience, will just be hypothetical nonsense. And you won't know that. You won't be any better versed unless you discover it by doing the work. The power is in doing the work. Touch your neighbor and say the power is in doing the work. Let's get some more of this work done. Okay, this is my last set, y'all. My last set for you. Yup. Boom. Let's go one. Let's go two. Let's go three. Let's go four, let's go five, let's go six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, 
13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Yeah. Woo. Boom. Yup. Oh. All right. Let's go. Mm. Mm. Said I wanted to be a champion. But I didn't know everything I was going to need to do to make it a reality. I got to see what I can't see. Three, four, five. I got to be willing to push myself. Six, seven, eight, nine. I come up with my own standards. Ten. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Phil Heath might be watching. Make sure you see that. I mean, I don't know. Big Rob, what'd you say, Big Robbie? Oh, okay. I'm just kidding. All right, all right. Let's do it. So, I know a really cool exercise that I like. I'm gonna turn this, this bitch to the side because I like to watch myself from the side. I'll do the first two from the right, and I'll do the last from the left. These are called incline, incline dumbbell curls. We'll start with a really cool, decent weight. Not too heavy. I'll go a little heavier when I start thinking about trying to meet you again, Phil. <laughs> Phil! No, I'm just kidding. Let's get this. One, two, you ready? Three, you ready? Four, let's go. Five, let's go. Six, let's go. Seven, let's go. Eight, let's go. Nine, let's go. Ten, let's go. Eleven, yup. Twelve, yup. Thirteen, yup. Fourteen, yup. Fifteen, yup. Sixteen, yup. Seventeen, yup. Eighteen, yup. Nineteen, yup. Twenty. Oh my God. Mm. This is why it's important to know what the f you want. Because what happens is objections always come up. They come up all the time. Right now, I said I don't want to do 20 reps, but by the time I got to rep 11, I felt like I had to really think about what the fuck I wanted to do because I was ready to stop. It hurts. It's uncomfortable. What happens is when you know what you want and you understand why you want it, and what happens is, in that, becomes the thing that people talk about as motivation. This is why someone can't give you motivation. They can encourage you to recognize how to better use your power. But the motivation that a lot of times people ask you for, really comes from inside. And the way you harness that, the way you channel it, is by being clear about what you want and why you want it. So in this case, what happens is, when I'm doing an exercise and I say that on the other side of doing this exercise for 20 reps lies the success that I'm working for, that I believe that I'm entitled to because I'm willing to work and get it done, as a result, I can deserve and call it into existence and make it a real manifestation of my thoughts and actions. But what happens is, well now, at least I know, I'm able to do the work. But what happens is when the objections come, like the lactic acid builds up, and you know what, you start to reach this thing that says, yo man, I, it's uncomfortable to continue. The way you find the ability to overcome that objection is to remember why it's important to you to do the thing in the first place. That's my point. Martin Luther King said, if a man has not found a reason for which he is willing to die, I hope you will accept when I submit to you that that man is not fit to live, that's some very profound shit. Let's get this next set while you think about that. Okay, okay. I got a barbell. I got a short barbell. It's a short barbell. What is it? Social distance. Oh, damn. 
Let's get it. Incline. Tricep extension variation of an overhead. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, yeah. You know what? I can't just stop right there because I just remember some of the that's important to me. Excuse me while I do these real quick. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh. Now I just had to do that. Oh. Uh, because I look at a lot of old photos and shit, and I can see over the years in my career. <sighs> Brachioradialis <sighs> needs to come up. Somebody, did you hear me? Touch your neighbor, say Brachioradialis. Brachioradialis. If you don't know, look it up. <laughs> really, really important. Particularly when it comes to me. Because that's one of those episodes in my career that when I look back, I can say, one of those areas I needed to improve. And I can say it, I see it, I understand. It would have improved greatly my front double bicep, I mean, not my front double bicep, my crab most muscular from the front. So if you don't know, I encourage you to look it up. Why? Because that's some of the work that we do as athletes aspiring to become our better selves. Constantly trying to improve and recognizing that even when you think you've gotten some really cool things on the brooks, there's still room for more improvement, particularly when you're not totally satisfied. We're grateful, we're thankful, but we got big dreams. We got a lot of shit that we want to do and accomplish in this life. If you know what I'm saying, touch a neighbor and say, yeah, big dreams, that's important. All right, I'm gonna go back to those, uh, what we started with was incline. Dumbbell curl. I'm gonna keep this thing moving. I'm not gonna go up and wait. All right, right here. Strict. Elbows are locked to our sides. Three, four, five. Trying to make them peaks high. Six, seven, eight, ah, nine, ah, ten, ah, eleven, ah, twelve, ah, thirteen, fourteen. 15, oh, 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 Fred Smalls, I see you, I see you, real talk, we gonna go ahead and keep it going, one, two, we're gonna get a bigger range of motion, three, let's go, four, let's go, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh my God, it felt crazy. Again, we're working long headed at tricep. Every time I do those, I gotta do these. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Mm. 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 Oh, shit. I'm gonna get a drink of water. Hydration is important. Don't let nobody tell you different. Touch your neighbor and say one more set. I'm gonna share this with you real quick because I think it's important. Remember, remember how we opened up talking about being clear about what you want. Here's another example of why that's important. 
Because now you got a pump, you're sweating, you're kind of pre-exhausted. Some of the muscle fibers. There's a little voice that could say in your head, well, didn't you do enough work already? Certainly that's enough, what you've already done. Why go back and do a third set? Shouldn't you be satisfied with having done at least the first one and two? Well, that's my point. If you recognize the value and what your goal, your dreams are, your goals become the things that break your larger dream down from the impossible to smaller, more easily attainable goals. You get what I'm saying? One of the things that I tried to do in the story that I wrote and designed, The Chronicles of King Kai, is to also submit a blueprint through the story of King Kai how a person can actually take an idea that represents the seemingly impossible and by breaking it down into smaller, more easily attainable goals, they can go from looking at the impossible as something that's impossible and actually making an impossible mission that much more manageable, attainable, and that much more likely to become a reality. Same thing here. We understand that, yo man, I want to improve the size of my arms. I want to make my biceps impressive. I want to make my triceps impressive. And we identify that the, the necessary steps to do that are to actually go, and let's say we say three sets. Three sets, rep range like 20, 12, or 20, 15, 12. And my point is that that becomes the goal. The goal makes that larger idea of impossibility smaller and now more easily attainable because we break it down. But now the trick is to not let yourself off the hook and to shorten things up. The trick is to follow through. That's why your goals are so important because your goals are the thing that allows you to take the larger, seemingly impossible thing and by turning it into a smaller, more easily attainable possibility, a goal or a series of goals, guess what? All you do now is evoke your discipline and follow through. So because we know what we want and we know that that thing that we want lies on the other side of taking, making use of these smaller, more easily attainable goals, this is why doing this third set right now is so important because we know what lies on the other side of it. The seemingly impossible possibility is now that much more likely to be attainable because we've identified this goal. So we gotta get this goal. The goal here is to finish with the next set. Set three, we know what we want, we know why it's important, and this is why we get it done. Let's do it. All right, you and me, uh, you know what? I'm gonna go up a little bit, because I was talking. And you know, we got more work to do. Besides, I don't want guys like Sean Rogan, Brandon Curry, to think that they might be let off the hook. <laughs> Yo, CT, what you say? It's your mother set. Let's get it. Three, four, five, six. Seven, no free rod, Brandon. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Oh, shit. shout out to CT Fletcher, my man. Oh, nothing but respect. Kevin LeVrone, I see you.
Incline dumbbell curls, which make it amazing. Let me just throw this out if you didn't know why you do that exercise. These inclines, they're designed to hit your bicep, you know? Uh, anytime your elbows go behind your body, you get a chance to work the longer head of your bicep. Your bicep, five means two. So you got two heads to your bicep. You got a long head and a short head. Short head is always addressed with anything that is with your elbows in front of your body. Preacher curls, concentration curls. Uh, long head are exercises for your bicep where your elbows are back. Um, to train that um, effectively is to technically do the work that allows you to almost just expand the tape measure around the circumference of the belly of the muscle that is your bicep. Um, you do that effectively on the long head of your bicep and effectively in the long head of your tricep and even those smaller uh, supportive pieces in between. And guess what? You're gonna have a bigger arm and that's just the way it goes. All right, so we're gonna move on. Mm. Uh, all right. Also the dumbbell curl. You guys have probably seen alternate dumbbell curls forever. Everybody's. I think that was probably one of the first bicep exercises I learned, you know, as a teenager. Yeah. You would think I never <laughs> moved a bit. All right, here we go. We're gonna start with alternate dumbbell curls and I'm gonna do them together for the first two sets. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. This is another example. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Because Viva Fitness told me I gotta do it. I gotta do it. I gotta do something. Let's get it. I gotta do it right. Shout out to Viva. <clears throat> Philip, are you watching? Are you watching, Philip? Just in case you are. <laughs> Philip, this is for you. Boom. Hey. Boom. Hey. Boom. Hey. 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 Hey, 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 hey,
What's that, Big Rami? Don't be scared. It's all right, bro. It's okay. The trainer partner said you talk too much. Stop talking. Tell me with your thoughts and your actions. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Oh, yeah. Boom. Sometimes you talk too much. Touch your neighbor and say, sometimes you talk too much. Neighbor, sometimes you talk too much. We need to learn how to speak more effectively with our thoughts and our actions. Show me better than you can tell me. One, two, three, let's go. Four, these are called tricep pushdowns. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Oh, yeah. I hear you, CT. I hear CT Fletcher in my ears. I'm telling you, I hear him in my ear right now. You know, when he said, hey, man, you know, it's your mother set. It's still your set. That's some amazing shit when you think about it. There are people that talk about, hey man, you know, I've survived some really interesting situations and circumstances in my life. You know, I've overcome and I'm still here. And then there's some people that, as a result of still being here, after overcoming some significant challenges, can find themselves questioning, well damn, why me? What made me so special? Why was I allowed to survive and others weren't? Some people can become depressed as they work through trying to answer that question. And as sure as I have scars on parts of my body and even my face, you know, I too, I'm sure, have wrestled with my own kind of post-traumatic stress in some way. And I want to say this because I feel like it's been laid on my heart to do so. One of the things I realized was, hey, there's stuff that I'm still supposed to do. There's reason why you're here. So this is why the words of C.T. Fletcher really, really resonate very well with me. Yo, man, it's still your mother set. In other words, yo, man, wake up. There's still shit for you to do. There's a reason why you're here. This being here is opportunity. Don't waste it. And the way we do that is by finding what's important to us and then actively set out on making the mission to get it done. You get me? That's it. That's your set. It's your opportunity. Your time to shine. Do you hold your good gift hostage? Or do you get it? Do you let it rip? Hold on. Who may be watching? Hmm. Hmm. Sean Roden, ah, you all right. No offense. But uh, there's still somebody I think I still ain't even talked to. I ain't even messing with you, Ruli, Ruli, you know. <sighs> Ruli Winkler. Ah. Even though you and your brother looking like gorillas these days, what the fuck are y'all eating? What are you eating? If it's a savage roar, please say so. <laughs> if it's if it's our new prey, prey mass, please say so. <laughs> Don't be scared. Cry loud and spare not. You know you're my boy. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, there's somebody else I ain't mentioned today. Who's my man that I ain't mentioned? Uh, uh, oh yeah, Will Bonnock. This set is for you. Oh yeah, the Lion King himself. Two, oh sh three, oh sh four. Damn it, Will, five, let's go. Six, let's go. Seven, mm. eight, mm. nine, 
10. Okay, let's go. Mm. Mm. I think Will Bonner had enough. We're gonna put this away right now. Oh, speaking of kings, shout out to my man, the ancient one, Dexter Jackson. I see you, player. I'm watching you, homie. Guy Cicerino, I see you paying attention. I gotta send you some love. I see you, guy. I see you. I feel you touching the ball. I feel you touching the ball. I'm getting power while I think about you touching the ball. That's a hard working mother right there. Oh, Guy Cicerino, let's get it. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. y'all. All right, let's bring this thing back. What we did was three very basic exercises again for each of the heads of our long and short heads of our tricep. We also got some bicep work in there. We didn't do a straight bar curl, but I got a chance to do two variations of exercises that speak to the long head of the bicep. <clears throat> Hence the incline dumbbell curl, elbows behind the body. Uh, we got our hammer curl in there, which again talks about addressing the bicep brachioradialis. Everybody else is in the process of getting their own dreams and stuff realized, yo man, it's work, but it's worth it to work. So I, I want to encourage you. And what we did today was we offered you this training segment for arms that we feature in one of our earlier bicep ebooks. Uh, technically, we also showed a little bit of tricep work. so. What happens is it's a multifaceted effect that we called trials and tribulations, overcoming the trials and tribulations. Uh, so you can definitely check that out. We'll probably do some things when we talk about swiping up if you want to take a look at it. Uh, this exercise segment was brought to you by the power of Viva Fitness. Viva, what's up, Viva Fitness family? It's your boy, K to the AK, Mr. Getting It Done. Very, very excited and thankful for being a part of the growth and the movement that we are a part of out there in India. Uh, real talk, we're gonna keep this thing going. We're gonna keep, we got a lot of other things we're gonna bring to you. Uh, make sure you come back and check us out here because uh, I may even have some uh, really cool guests and uh, we're gonna continue to develop this. So, training, information, inspiration, uh, a little bit of personal self-development talk. That's me, man, because I have to do this all day. This is, this is how I keep myself together and hopefully on the right track with achieving some of the things that are really important to me to do in this life. And if it speaks positively to you and if you're able to get anything out of it, real talk, that's positive. We want to keep this going. We want to remember to keep encouraging each other and remember to keep it positive. It's so, so, so important to be able to do that, particularly right now, because that's how we show love and that's how we build this world to be the better place that it can be. So on that note, y'all, this is your boy, K to the AK, Mr. Getting It Done, and this is the end of this training segment. Remember, this was brought to you by Viva Fitness, and until next time, let's keep it positive.